You will sometimes be asked to determine the amount of excess reactant remaining after the reaction is done. Okay, so we're just going to go through a couple examples here for you. Uh, if 5 grams of hydrogen reacts with 290 grams of chlorine, how many grams of HCl are formed? So first of all, we're just going to recognize this as a limiting reactant problem. And we're going to try to figure out our theoretical yield, the amount of HCl we make. Okay, so we're going to start with our 5 grams of hydrogen. All right, we're going to change grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams. Okay, so HCl here, HCl, this is your hydrogen, and here's your mole ratio changing hydrogen to HCl. Okay, so one mole of hydrogen weighs 2.02, .02. the ratio is 2 to 1, uh, and this weighs like 36.46, okay, so this gives us 180 grams of HCl. So let's figure out what the other one is. So 290 grams of chlorine. Okay, again, we're going to go grams to moles. We're going to go moles to moles. We're going to go moles to grams. Okay, so chlorine, our mole ratio of chlorine to HCl. HCl, HCl. So one mole of chlorine, which is Cl2, weighs 70.9. The mole ratio is 2 to 1, still weighs 36.46. Uh, so this is going to make 298 grams of HCl. So again, you have to decide, this is the smaller number, so this is the amount that we're actually going to make. That's the answer to our question. This is not correct, because this was our limiting reactant. Okay. But now we're going to say, how many grams of excess reactant remain? Okay, so what was our limiting reactant? Well, our limiting reactant was the H2. So we're going to try to figure out how much Cl2 is left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the amount of H2 I was given. Okay, I started with 5 grams of H2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some stoichiometry and figure out how much chlorine I used. Okay, so hopefully you're noticing this pattern now, grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams. Okay, so hydrogen, got a mole ratio of hydrogen to HCl, not HCl, sorry, Cl2, I'm trying to find Cl2 now, 70.9 to 1, 1 to 1, 2.02, 02. so what we get here is that 90.2 grams of Cl2 were used, okay? So if I use 5 grams of chlorine, I use 90.2 grams, sorry, hydrogen, 90.2 grams of chlorine. That's how those are related to each other. Okay, that's how much I used up. Well, in the problem, it said I started with 290 grams, and if I use 90.2 grams, I have about 200 grams of chlorine remaining. That's how you find the excess reactant remaining. That's it.